Welcome back to ETV, entertainment television everywhere in the Treasure Valley. And uh, hey, weren't you just here? <laughs> I'm here all week, you know, so the whole show, folks. Hey, listen, uh, you know, it's interesting being a film critic at this time of year because you've just spent the last three or four weeks voting for what are the best movies of the year. Um, and, and quite frankly, a lot of times there are people, there are two camps. Some people like the arty movies. Right. Some people think that movies are just about entertainment. And so we thought what we would do is we'd serve that crew, crowd um, and sort of talk about some of the big movies that are expected to hit theaters in 2011. That sounds exciting. And of course, you know all this cool stuff. I, uh, you know, I know a lot of them, but there are some. I mean, I went online this last couple of days and just pages and pages. There are a a lot of movies that are scheduled and some that will I mean some big movies that may not make the schedule but they're, they're scheduled at the moment it's it's going to be a very interesting 2011 what well, are there any films in particular that you're looking forward to Toy Story 4 <laughs> Toy Story 4 you know I, I, I would say right now Cars 2 you know Pixar's oh, nice. movie I mean there are, matter of fact let's start with the animation stuff because I know you have girls and all about the kids movies there are a lot of animated films and most of them will be in 3D because Hollywood wants that extra money yeah so, so uh, uh, let's take a look at the uh, the listing of animated films here. Um, you have Nomeo and Juliet, which is going to be kind of fun, uh, sort of Romeo and Juliet set among garden gnomes. Nomeo. Uh, that hits February 11th. Kung Fu Panda 2 kicks off the summer, really, and uh, you know, Kung Fu Panda was a huge hit for yeah. DreamWorks. Cars 2, like I said, comes out in June. Winnie the Pooh, Smurfs. Uh, Puss in Boots on November 4th, you know, but like I said, the first one's going to be Nomeo and Juliet, and, <laughs> and, and just kind of a fun little love story, but set with garden gnomes, so he's from the blue-hatted garden gnomes, and she's from the red-hatted ones, and you can expect that coming up in February. And the other thing this, this year is the year of the superhero movies, so uh, we have the Green Hornet that's going to open up in January, but we have Thor on May 6th, X-Men First Class, the Green Lan Lantern, Captain America, I think the cap is going to be the... The big superhero watch, huh? of the summer, yeah. Um, and then you know we're, we're not even talking things like Transformers. Is that a, is that you know that's probably more of a blockbuster. On the so on the blockbuster list, look, Pirates of the Caribbean, Stranger Tides in May, The Hangover Two, Transformers, Harry Potter, which is let's face it, Harry Potter is the big one to right. talk about. Cowboys and Aliens. I gotta say, I'm very excited about Cowboys and Aliens. It's sort of an old western, but with aliens from outer space. I, I think it's going to be a lot of fun. So, um, and then we also have like Footloose. They're remaking Footloose oh, uh, boy. in October. Twilight Breaking Dawn. I mean, I, I hate to admit it, but there is another Twilight movie coming out. And that will be a huge hit uh, coming up here in uh, November. Uh, Sherlock Holmes coming out in oh, December. Yeah. Sherlock Holmes too. Mm -hmm. And uh, things like The Girl with the Dragon Tattoo, which is the Steve Larson, you know, book series that's been, they were made into a series of Swedish movies, right. and a lot of people love the books but aren't going to watch a movie where they have to read the subtitles, right? So uh, what we have instead is we have David Fincher directing the American versions and stuff, and it should be a huge hit. And then we have a couple of horror films, like we have Scream 4 that's getting relaunched here. Uh, we have Piranha three in three double D, so I think you know what they're uh, pushing so there. they call so, it, you know, yes, Piranha exactly. 9. You know. uh, there's a Dune movie that might come out. I mean, they're working wow. on Dune. They're working on Marvin the Martian as a movie. I mean, there's a lot of stuff out there, so it's going to be a great 2011. Stick around. We'll cover whatever hits the Treasure Valley. Uh, if it rolls into the theaters here, we'll, we'll talk about it here on ETV. Sounds great. Well, Sean, we appreciate the uh, preview for all the things ahead for 2011. More ETV coming up right after this.